What is up everybody, this is Preston here and welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you guys my opinion on cup drivers going down to lower series. So this has actually been a topic that, you know, it's been going around in NASCAR for quite a while. And since if you guys have never known my thoughts on that, I'll tell you it in this video. So, yeah. The Xfinity Series race just ended and AJ Allmendinger, um, AJ won. Then the Xfinity Nashville race. So yeah, I watched the finish of it. So yeah, I did I just I didn't want I didn't actually watch the race. I just watched the finish of finish of it because I was curious to see what the finish is gonna look like because I know it was an overtime two to go. Just wanted to tune it in, tune in and see what the finish looks like. So AJ Allmendinger won it. So yeah. So let's get to it straight away. There is a positive and a negative to this. Two cup drivers going down in Xfinity. Or truck series for me. A pos both a positive thing and a negative thing. There's two sides for me. So, but good, let's start with the positives. The positives are from a, from a driver's perspective. So from a driver's perspective, it's a good thing. So they can get more time behind the wheel, the car, to get ready for the cup race tomorrow. Because the cup race is a big important one. The poor thing is more seat time. And I respect that. I want drivers to get more seat time and get practice, but they do have practice sessions for an hour, so, yeah. But it's the driver's decision, but I'm glad NASCAR cut down the limit of drivers that can race that racing speed for, from the Cup Series. So, yeah, from a driver's perspective, so I get more practice time. But I'm glad it's not for every race. So, yeah, from a, from a driver's perspective, it's good. It's good for them. It's good for them, and that's why, you know, it's, that, that's a positive. It's, it's, it's good for the drivers. It's good for them. But it's real, it makes it really challenging for the Xfinity Series drivers, for the, for the regulars, for full-timers. So, yeah. And, you know, it could be, you know, could be... Could, another thing is being put to the limits. Being, Xfinity drivers being put up to the challenge, which... Lower drive, like lower, um, like drivers in the experience series going up against one of the Cup Series stars. That is, that is something that every, I think every NASCAR, um, every kid wants to dream of if becoming a NASCAR driver is to race against some of the biggest stars in the sport. So that's another good reading. That's another positive about, um, Cup drivers going down to the lower series is that these younger guys and fought race full time in the experience series will will eventually can get to race against one of their one of their heroes if there's one of their heroes at least for example um Corey Heim Corey Heim's a Denny Hamlin fan if Denny Hamlin comes racing in a truck series and if Corey Heim you know races against him that would be a cool moment right there <laughs> but even though I don't realistic I don't see that happening obviously but yeah um so yeah and with Kyle Busch racing in trucks, you know, I'm sure there's a lot of people, a lot of younger, younger drivers that really respect Kyle Busch and really honored to be racing against him. So, yeah. But, however, there's a negative side of this. And the negative side of it, as a fan who actually watches this, to me, it's kind of getting old. You know, it's, it's not, it's really not that fun to see a cup driver win an, ex, win an Xfinity a truck race. It's really not that fun. I mean... <laughs> I'm glad it doesn't happen every race. Portland, that was a great race. Okay, one of the great Xfinity road course races I've watched. I really don't watch Xfinity and Truck Series that much. I, partially because of Cup guys going down in Xfinity. Because almost the majority when the when a Cup guy go runs in Xfinity, they're they they're definitely probably definitely have a chance to win. So, yeah, um, yeah, that's one of the that's one of the negatives to it. Um, and it's also kind of getting old. That's partially the reason why I really kind of don't watch the Xfinity series that much. I don't keep track of it. Heck, I can barely even. I can barely. I barely even know like ten drivers in the Truck series or Xfinity series. So that's why I haven't keep track enough of the trucks as Truck series or Cup series or Xfinity series as much. So yeah, I know. I know. I know like a good bit of the drivers in the Xfinity and trucks, but not all. Not all. So. Yeah, there's some, and there's even some drivers that I don't even remember their names, even in, in the X truck or Xfinity that are running full time. I know a good bit, just not all, definitely not all. So, 
yeah. The only series that I can remember every name of, of drivers, every name, is the Cup Series. That's it. So, yeah. And it's... But I'm glad NASCAR... But if it's only for one... But if it's only... If in the Cup Series driver only goes one... Only does a one-off race, or like maybe just two, that's fine. I have no issues. I have no issues with just one or two. But if it's just a repeat thing over and over and over again, which I'm glad that's this less likely, it's not fun. And with a cup guy winning over and over and over again and expanding in trucks in lower series, to me, that's not fun. I know the truck series, it's not an issue. Really? It's not an issue, really. But for the Xfinity series, it's a little bit higher. I think, I'm not sure if we even have... I think we did have a cup guy win. I think it was Ross Chastain that won the truck race this year. I, I, I'm, I'm I won a truck race this year at Charlotte. I'm not sure if that's right. I think I think it was this year. I'm not sure. It was Ross Chastain in the truck series? I think it was this year. I'll have to look back look at back up and see. But I knew Ross Chastain won a truck series race, and he was in the cup series. I think that was this year or last year. So yeah. Obviously, obviously, I heard next, that the next weekend's race at the Chicago Street Course, no Cup drivers are going to be in it. I'm, I'm definitely watching the Xfinity Chicago Street Race. So, yeah. So, yeah. Um. Hey, I mean, it's good for the drivers that get some more seat time. It's good for them, but from a fan's perspective. From a, from the one who's watching it on TV and stuff, and to me, it's just not that fun. It's not that fun to see Cup guys, Cup guys down in Xfinity and truck, trucks that much. So, I'm glad they cut it down, and and Kyle Busch, he, he does race in the truck series still, but that's because he has a team called Kyle Busch Motorsports, and I get still, I totally get why he's you know, while he's racing in truck series still, it's just because he owns a team. So, he owns a team and he likes to race in one of his trucks. So, yeah. Um, yeah. I'm, congrats to Solomon Inger, obviously, for winning this race. Congrats to him. Really wanted Riley Herbst to win. I was, I would be so glad if Riley Herbst would have won. Oh, my goodness. I would be so glad if Riley Herbst won this race. The dude needs a win. The dude really needs a win. And he's just, hasn't gotten it yet. Has not gotten it yet. So, yeah. So, guys, in conclusion, like I said, there's a positive and a negative to this. The positive is drivers getting more seat time. Um, getting more seat time. Um, lower NAS expanding series full timers are getting probably going up to race some of the race against the biggest stars, which is their dream. Which is kind of like their dream. But going up against NASCAR's biggest star cup series stars. And or um, and and going up against them, but the thing is on the negative side, it's not that fun once they start winning over and over and over and over again. To me, that's just not fun. Now I'm now I'm glad it's definitely not every race. It's definitely not every race we're gonna see a Spanish Series guy win. Definitely not. But if it's but if cup drivers keep winning over and over and over and over again, it's not fun. It's not fun. And that makes me not want to watch the Xfinity series that much. But I mostly watch I but I only watch the Xfinity series races sometimes when I feel like it. Same thing with trucks, only time when I feel like it. So yeah, the only race I we race the only three series of NASCAR races that I do like to watch, Cup series. Definitely the Cup series, guys. Definitely the Cup Series. So yeah, guys, um, that's it for this video. This is just, you know, this is just my thoughts on drivers going down from going up from don't going down from Cup Series and doing expanding in Truck Series races. Like I said, can be a good thing and a bad thing. So, to me, it's kind of 50-50. But mostly, if it gets to the point where it's, where Cup drivers are winning over and over again on a regular basis, it's not fun. So, yeah, guys, so, what what do you guys think about, um, or quote-unquote, cup leeching? Let me know in the comments below. 
Cup leeching to me sounds like a funny, funny term, obviously, but obviously makes sense because cup leeching the term has been around for a while. So, yeah, guys, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. And anyways, this is Preston signing off. Peace out.